this is Ekalpana here in this video we are going to see a problem from mathematical induction so let's get started problem prove that for any natural number n a power n minus b power n is divisible by a minus b where a is greater than b okay so here we have to show that a power n minus b power n is divisible by a minus b for all n belongs to natural numbers and also we are given condition that a is greater than b that is this a is greater than b okay a is greater than b right solution let p of n be the given statement then P of n such that a power n minus b power n is divisible by a minus b. Okay, firstly we will prove the statement is true for n equals to 1 and later we will assume that the statement is true for n equals to some k which belongs to natural numbers. And finally we will prove for n equals to k plus 1. Okay. When n equals to 1, so this is a given statement, right? So now put n equals to 1, we'll get a minus b. You're having a minus b, right? Which is divisible by a minus b, which is. Divisible by A minus B. Therefore, P of N is true for N equals to 1. Or therefore, P of 1 is true. So now let's check for N equals to 2 and N equals to 3. n equals to 2 in the given statement you'll get a square minus b square we know that a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b since you are having multiple of a minus b right a minus b times a plus b right so which is also divisible by a minus b right you'll get a plus b right we divide with a minus b. So this is also divisible by b, which is divisible by b. Sorry, divisible by a minus b, not b. Fine. Now, therefore, p of n is true for n equals to 2. Therefore, p of 2 is true. Fine. What happens if we put n equals to 3? We know that a minus b whole cube equals to a cube minus b cube minus 3ab into a minus b. Then, you can also write it as a cube minus b cube minus 3ab into a minus b equals to a minus b whole cube. If we take this minus 3ab into a minus b to RHS, we will get a cube minus b cube equals to a minus b whole cube plus 3ab into a minus b, right? So, this is equals to a minus b whole cube plus 3ab into a minus b, right? So, you have a minus b common in both the terms, right? So, take a minus b common, then you'll get a minus b 
of a minus b whole square plus 3ab, right? So, there is also a multiple of a minus b, right? a minus b into some number, okay? Since you are having a minus b here, which is divisible by a minus b, right? So, here also we can say that n equals to 3, the statement is divisible by a minus b, which is divisible by a minus b. Since we got a minus b times some number, okay, fine. Now, let's assume that the statement is true for some k belongs to natural numbers. Assume that P of n is true for some k belongs to natural numbers, right? We are asked to prove for any natural number n, right? We have to prove this statement for any natural number n. For that purpose, we are considering k which belongs to some natural number. Okay. Some k which belongs to natural number. Fine. Then, p of k such that simply replace n by k. Then you will get a power k minus b power k is divisible by a minus b. Okay. So, like earlier, we got p of 1 equals to some a minus b and p of 2 equals to a minus b times some a plus b. Likewise, for p of 3, we got a minus b times something, right? Likewise, for p of k, we can take a minus b times some m c okay instead of a plus b and the expression existing in p of 3 and here you're having one right like was here some m therefore since p of k is true so we'll get therefore a power k minus b power k equals to a minus b times some m where m belongs to natural numbers. We don't get any for uh, negative terms here, okay? Or negative numbers, not terms, negative numbers. So, we'll take n since a is greater than b. Okay, the possibility of getting negative is not possible. Whenever P of K is true, we can prove for P of K plus 1, right? Now, consider P of K plus 1, which is equals to A power K plus 1. Minus b power k plus 1. Again, you can write this as a power k into a minus b power k into b. Since you need to write this in terms of a minus b, right? So, for that purpose, what we'll do is we'll simply add a into b power k and subtract a into b power k. Okay? Fine. So, here you are having a and here also you are having a, right? We'll take a common from these two terms. Then you'll get a of a power k minus b power k. Why you're choosing this instead of this is you're having a power k minus b power k, right? We can utilize this, okay? We can utilize this here minus the next term. 
is minus b power k into b plus a into b power k. So you can take b power k common, right? So take b power k common from these two terms. I will get b power k of a minus b. Okay? Here a is greater than b. Okay? We are given the condition is a is greater than b. So obviously we will get some positive quantity or positive number we can say. Okay? Fine. So this equals to a into m times a minus b or a times, sorry, a minus b times m, whatever it is. Since a power k minus b power k equals to m times a minus b, right? So we have replaced this plus the next term as it is. Okay. This equals to a into a minus b into m plus b power k into a minus b. Which is equals to now take a minus b common from these two terms. You will get a minus b of a m plus b power k. Okay. Here you can take where a m plus b power k equals to some m1. So this equals to a minus b into m1. For m1 belongs to natural number. So we are having again a minus b times m1 which means that this is also divisible by a minus b. Okay. We are having multiple of a minus b here which is a multiple of a minus b therefore and it's and it's divisible by a minus b okay this shows that the statement is true for n equals to k plus 1 Therefore, P of k plus 1 such that a per k plus 1 minus b per k plus 1 is divisible by a minus b. Therefore, a per k plus 1 minus b per k plus 1 equals to a high a minus b into m right this shows that this shows that p of k plus 1 is true whenever P of K is true. Thus, P of 1 is true and P of K plus 1 is true whenever P of K is true Therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction,
the given statement is true for all or for any natural numbers n by the principle of mathematical induction the given statement is true for any natural numbers or natural number n okay this completes the problem so we have seen a problem from mathematical induction in this video hope you'll understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye